morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome back to Start to Build a series where I'll be taking you from start build concepts in Minecraft to advanced construction. Today we're episode 6 and let's take a look what we're gonna build today. And this is what we'll be constructing today, a lonesome tower, a little bit more of the medieval Victorian style, you can take it as you want. Um, some interesting build concepts we're gonna explain today as well, like a new way of creating a roof and a new way to create support for a building. But first let's take a look at our big board of blocks to see what we'll be needing. As you can see here, uh, I've divided the big board of blocks into four sections, each for one of the parts of the build. So for the base of the build we're gonna be using stone, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, and side stairs and some gravel combined with the dark oak fences and a lantern. The build itself will be made out of bone blocks, wool, white wool, um, the dark oak logs, spruce trapdoors, slabs, in this case the birch variety, a door of any kind and the combination of the dark oak fences and lanterns. The supports from the outside will be made out of the cobblestone variants and like. And the roof will be made out of dark prismarine, as well as the blocks, the stairs, some jungle uh, trapdoors, some dark oak slabs, and a light source, in this case shroom lights or perhaps even glowstone. Alternatively, every grey block we can replace by another grey block, in this case the stone brick varieties, the mossies, the uh, chiseled and the cracked ones. Perhaps even add some new blackstone from the last update, might work fine as well. Floors can be done with the uh, metal working station um, and the fences can be replaced by the red nether brick fences and soul lanterns. And the roof can be done by using the red nether brick slabs and the warped wood to give it a more eerie feeling. Perhaps an uh, old wizard is living there. Anything that fits the narrative of your world. But now let's get into building. And let's kick off with the obvious part. I already um, created the base of this tower. So it's actually a cubicle um, four blocks tall on nine blocks wide and nine blocks deep. Um, as you can see, I already withered it a bit. I um, switched out the texture so you don't get uh, three by three spaces with the same texture in it, just to give it more of a live feeling. Um, if you don't want to build this tower on top of this pedestal, you can always uh, just skip this part and not uh, and just build it on, on flat ground. It's whatever suits your world best, of course. But if we do it on this way, we create our cubicle first and we cover it up on the top and then we go to one of the sides and from the middle block that should be this one we'll create a three by two platform oh, no that was not and then extend the first uh, the middle one one more and then all the way downwards As you can see, make sure that textures don't overlap that much, uh, like so. On this side, we're gonna take our stairs and we're gonna create some buttresses and some supports. So put two upside down stairs left and right of that middle block and then come down one block and place one of them there. And then it should look like this. Okay, to get into the building we need a staircase, so we'll build a staircase. We're gonna use some cobblestone stairs in this case. And there we go. And here we're gonna create a little 2x2 two two platform. And then go to the side. To fill it in we can do use the uh, upside down stairs or you can just make it solid. It's, it's whatever you like. Um, in this case I will combine the two efforts like so and then finish it all off we're gonna make a little railing on the side so we can get in safely 
and that's just by using upside down stairs and every part of it of the staircase and the little platform put an upside down stairs next to it like so and cover it up with your fences you can do it like this uh, as I'm showing you here or you can even um, extend every one of these um, it's what you like um, personally I will favor this one over the extension every single step uh, just for for the cleanliness of the build there we go that's actually the first part done so the first part of our build is now complete let's get on to the second part we'll need to switch out a little bit of our blocks here and there we go so now to form the base structure we're gonna go one to the inside one diagonally from the side so and put a block there and then skip a block put another one here and there this will make our entrance and then extend every block four blocks to till it reaches four blocks like so Since the replay mod is not yet out for 1.16, I can't show this in. Uh, I have to show this in real time, so let's do it the old-fashioned way. Well, that's the first one done. Then extend a further four, just the corners this time. Three and four, and then connect them all up again. And then the final part extend by four again and then bring it across to each of the sides. Like this. And then we should have this skeleton frame from the outside. Now to fill it in we're going to use our bone blocks and place them in between. This will be our main wall. Leave a gap there in the middle. Like so. fill in every side of this wall I do like the new sounds they made for the bone blocks it's, it's like really placing down a bone I do like the color of um, the bone blocks. It gives that uh, that broken white beige feeling, and it's a little bit weathered. It's like the tower has been there for a while, and uh, the plaster, what, which makes up the walls, has faded over time. Now, once this this is done, we can um, knock out the windows. So we can do the basic one hole uh, window on all four sides. We can even do the extended one and continue with singles and on the bottom side we'll just do the singles just for brevity and here we can knock out these ones as well so that should be done now if you're not a complete fan of this um, the same block used in the in the entire wall you can use the white wool block and then take out some blocks on every side and replace them with it. Um, even other white colored blocks um, might work as well. Um, I would suggest 
not using uh, concrete because it's oversaturation might actually break it up a little bit too much but that's entirely up to you so just at random pick out a few blocks and then just replace them by the mold blocks And on top as well. Just to break up and the flatness of those walls. There we go. So far so good. We've got some of the details already in. Let's move on to the next detail. It's actually at the junction between the horizontal and the vertical poles we're gonna place our spruce trapdoors as if they've been nailed together you can even use uh, different materials uh, perhaps an item frame with an item that, that resembles a nail or, or a pin uh, of any kind you can use that as well it's completely up to you how you do it this is the easiest way to add a little bit of detail to it again break up the flatness of the textures make sure that you close actually close the trap doors as well that would be this and then we're gonna fill in the window sections by using our dark oak fences and the reason we're using dark oak in this case is actually to uh, to contrast the white of the building blocks that we already used Plus the fences, to use the fences as a, as a window is always a nice concept, gives it some depth as well. Once that's done we can use our fences to actually place them in the, from the, bot, the top layer in the right hand corner and the left hand bottom corner can place some fences like so and then like so and then use a lantern to have some lighting fixtures around as you can see if you use a soul lantern for this this could give a very eerie feeling a very disjointed feeling perhaps um, to fit a nice narrative or story in your world there we go and at this point, your building should look a bit like this. So we're gonna move on onto the third uh, section or the third part of our build. And it's actually building some supports for the tower itself. Um, as with all things, we can do this very elaborately. I will show you a few ways uh, how you can do it. Um, we'll start by building a, lar a large extended one. So we'll take our cobblestone and then extend like so, perhaps come two down and then do the same and then three from the floor, take another one like so and then we have that gradual support, we can make even smaller supports like um, this perhaps, put a block here, again a staircase and then straight down. That seems to be working as well. Uh, we can do the, the one one. So we do one staircase on the top, one staircase in front of it, and let's just gently extend the wall a bit here. And in the middle, we can even use this technique, like starting in the middle and then using that straight diagonal, come down a block. Put a cobblestone stair here and on the two sides. And create like a supportive buttress like so. Other ways are also possible, but I think for a building of this size, uh, the smaller the support structures might actually work out for the best. Okay, 
on to level four, on to part four, the creation of the roof. For that, we're gonna take our dark prismarine block and create a rim around the entire roof section, like so. And then using our dark prismarine stairs and select two of the opposite sides and extend them one out this way and of course the other way and then just do the side sections using alternate normal and upside down stairs to create that point and then on the top of the roof use the upside down stairs like so do that on the other side as well Placing the normal ones upside down, normal ones, again upside down, the final, normal ones and the upside down pointing inwards. The windows on the sides will be a bit different, we're gonna use our upside down stairs and just put it with the back against this one, like so, and then create the same framework we always do like so and again use the upside down stairs at the point pointing inwards that should be on the same level as the other two already constructed so upside down stairs with the back against the outside and then slowly building up until you have this side And then the upside down stairs as well. To create the rest of the roof we're gonna actually take our dark prismarine blocks again and create a pillar in the corners so in the inside of your um, roof uh, your attic uh, you create a small two pillar two, uh, two high pillar and then place in the blocks like so they will connect up with the blocks already there and do the same for the top layer like so to make it a little bit easier you can create actually a cross out of prismarine blocks or dark prismarine blocks and then fill it up like this might make it a bit easier to build around Like this and finishing it off so we're gonna make the point of the roof because uh, it's rather flat right now um, by placing on each side two stairs two staircases like this a smaller cross with blocks again on each of the corners another staircase and two blocks in the middle a little bit of a point and we can actually put something here to prevent a mob spawn uh, like a warp button and will actually look kind of nice uh, with the color as well now that's done we're gonna actually focus on the final part of the roof it's the encasing and we're gonna take our dark oak slabs and on the same level as the actually on the, the bottom level of the block and we're gonna create a little line come one out and go one to the bottom so one down or a half lap down then create with slabs create blocks in this fashion um, and then the other way back down like so now we can't use uh, blocks for this because um, Blocks can't, can't overextend over two blocks. You can see that here. So the slab runs. That's why we're using slabs. Same thing as well here. Dip one down, then pick it back up and across the entire roof section. Come back down again, knock out that one. And then place blocks, place slabs, double slabs, double slabs, double slabs. And then do the same 
off this side. Slabs, double slabs. And then one down. Knock it out. And then we have the entire roof support or roof structure like so completely done. Okay, so far so good. Now let's focus on the interior. A little bit that we forgot and for your floors I would suggest actually using slabs to give a little bit of a sense of um, extra space. Um, in this case I'm going to use the birch slabs because they might uh, they break the, up the, the, white, the white and dark uh, contrast as well. And I'll put it like this. Uh, allow a little hole there for a staircase or for a ladder or whatever you, method you want to use to go up and down. And don't forget to light it. Like so. Fill it up nicely and onto the next one. Now for the attic part that might actually be a bit tricky because we have of course the prismarine here that will uh, not allow you to to keep a hole in the corner um, another solution might be to put a hole here or to actually make a pillar in the middle and then just go upwards from there like so now for this top section we're gonna use our jungle trap doors and place them against the top like so and then shift click shift right click to put the second layer of them against it and then extend them all down Like so. To add a bit of extra detail, we can use a lighting source at the back here because that will provide a nice element of lighting um, when it's dark in your world. And then, of course, double check that every block has been placed. We have seemed to we seem to have forgotten to place our door. Combination of the spruce door and the spruce trapdoor there you go that might work perfectly so it actually in at the end it should look like this yep that seems about right as well and there we go, this building is finished. That was the end of this episode. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please do leave a like. If you really, really liked it, please do subscribe. My name was Great Harlequin, and I wish to see you all in the next episode. Keep on building.